I've come to New Zealand 16 years ago with my partner, my oldest son, and I was pregnant of our second son. I was born and raised in the Netherlands. It's a country that has lots of rivers, and I, um, I grew up on a cargo ship for the first five years of my life. We moved to land when I was six years old. Our free time was spent on the river, swimming in summer, ice skating in winter, all sorts of things. Uh, my uncles and aunties are skippers, so even when we moved to land, I still ended up going boat like trips during school holidays. You're traveling and you see all the different landscapes and different foods, different languages, but it's also quite isolated. For my mom, it must have been very hard because she didn't come from that background. She, she married my dad and became a skipper's wife. Being on a boat with two little kids, there's basically no social life. And I've had other conversations with aunties and they they confirmed that it was actually really hard for them. The river and water, to me, is of course also a place to have fun, but really a place to make a living. There was a lot of jobs attached to the river where I come from. Infrastructure that most people are actually are not aware of, that those infrastructures exist. When you grow up on and around the water, your whole life revolves around it. You know, safety. You had to do the shopping before dark, otherwise getting from land back onto the boat would be too dangerous. Filling the water reservoir on a boat and being very careful with the water you use uh, because the next harbour is two days away. The safety of the children, the doors have to stay locked, you know. You just go back to the core necessities and basics, the important things, because that way of living is just what takes over. We live now in Avondale and we've got this river just up the road, Stifo. It's a beautiful river, but it's also a polluted river. I would like to be able to swim in a river, see little pontoons there, maybe have little pocket parks on the side so people can go to the park and actually see the river. A bridge across would be great, so it connects the different neighborhoods. People will look after it better. When people have a relationship, they go fishing there, they don't want to see the shopping trolleys in the river. And I think people take more pride in the environment. Our youngest son goes fishing there regularly, mainly at the rowing club. It's been great to see him getting so much out of the river. There was a seal there, they came to eat their bait, uh, they've seen dolphins, they caught little sharks, and these are great memories. The river's been really been a great part of our lives as kids to escape to, to have our adventures, and I'm quite grateful having lived near a river. It gave us opportunities we wouldn't have had otherwise.